listen i'm gonna be real with you there will come a time in your walk with god where you will just basically question your journey and wonder how all of the numerous blessings that he promised you will come to pass and maybe you get to a point where you just decide to be you know to settle and be content with the minimal blessings that you've received from god and just be thankful which is not a bad thing as a matter of fact the bible encourages us to be content but that is not what god wants so i was you know looking at the story of abraham the other day and you know i was fascinated by you know the revelations that i got so looking at the life of abraham formerly known as abram by the way and god has a thing for renaming people anyway so you know looking at the early days of abram where god called him out of his father's house and told him to leave his father's house and come to a land that he would show him. And Abraham left his father's house, left his kindred, his relatives, you know, his friends, childhood friends, and everything that he had already known, and followed God to an unknown destination. That was sick, <laughs> by the way. That was sick. So he did, he followed God, you know, with his wife Sarah, and they built a family. And God actually blessed him materially, material wise. If you go through the scripture in Genesis, it shows how, you know, God kept increasing him, both in cattle and in, you know, in the ways that that rich people were identified back then in Bible days, Abraham had it all. But in the aspect of childbirth and childbearing, Abraham kept believing God that his wife Sarah would bear him a son because God actually promised him this much. God told him that his wife Sarah would bear him a son. Okay, that was the promise that God gave him. And, you know, after waiting for a while, Sarah decides to help God, seeing that it was taking too long. And so she decides to, you know, ask her maid to go lay with Abraham and you know get pregnant for Abraham to you know, mother a child since it didn't matter to her if she was a biological mother or not as long as there was a you know a child to carry on the lineage of Abraham and to be honest the world is still suffering from that bad <laughs> bad decision till date anyway she did that but that didn't help that was not the promise of God Sometimes things may look like the real deal, but they're not. If it's not what God has promised you, then it is not God's promise. Anyway, God still kept telling Abraham that I specifically told you that your wife, Sarah, would bear you a son. And you will have thousands and thousands of descendants. Or even one Sarah hadn't had yet. So how would how would a woman who hadn't had one child have thousands of uncountable descendants? So it was kind of tricky. But anyway, I think Abraham got to a point as he aged gracefully, seeing that humanly speaking, he was getting old, his wife Sarah was getting old, you know, past the age the the biological age of childbirth and all of that stuff as described in the bible the bible described that he was his body was you know obviously aging and his wife he looked at his wife sarah and she was also aging and he was like you know what god even though this didn't come to pass i'm thankful for the other blessings you've blessed me with i'm thankful for the cattle i'm thankful for the farms i'm thankful for the prestige and the blessings that you've blessed me so it's okay god if 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 the the promise of of sarah be bearing a child does not come to pass in my time it's it's fine you know i i'm content with the blessings that you've already given me and you know what i believe i humbly submit 
that God caught that silent <sighs> that Abraham did, you know, when he was like counting his blessings and saying, you know what, God has blessed me. I'm rich. I'm happy. I'm, you know, aging gracefully. And that that's enough for me. You know, thank you, God, even though the other blessing didn't come to pass. But thank you. God caught that silent, <sighs> that, you know, that sigh of submission, that sigh of, well, que sera, sera, you know. God caught that sigh, and that was why God showed up in Genesis chapter 12 and, you know, called his boy Abraham outside and said, look up in the sky and count the stars, as many as you can count. Your descendants will be as numerous as the stars. And, you know, the Bible records in that verse in Genesis chapter 12 that when Abraham lifted his eyes to the sky and looked up to the stars and how numerous they were, the Bible says that Abraham believed God. And it says it was counted for him as righteousness. Abraham needed that visual reassurance. You know, sometimes we, we need that reassuring voice telling us that, hey, I've still got this. I'm still on it. It will still come to pass, right? God saw that Abraham needed that visual reassurance. That was why God took him outside and told him to count the stars. And as the story goes, eventually, Sarah gave birth to the child of promise, Isaac. Isaac. See, eh? sometimes that miraculous credit a lot. That unexpected job interview that that miraculous phone call that you weren't expecting that's god's way of reassuring us and telling us that hey i'm still with you i'm still here i've still got your back i'm still working on that thing that you're trusting me for in my time i will make it beautiful in my time i will bring it to pass okay so just relax the one who knows how many stars there are in the sky and calls each one by name. He's got you. You've got nothing to worry about. Okay, so sometimes God reassures us visually. Sometimes he uses people to reassure us of his presence, to reassure us of his promises, to reassure us that he's still God. He's still got you. And he's still going to do what he said he was going to do from his word. You so know, our God is such an intentional father and he's always looking for ways to top up our faith in him, to reassure us that he's still our God. He's still working it out for our good and he's still got us. So I don't know who this is for. It's actually 2 a.m. and I'm filming this just to share with someone that God still has you in his thoughts god is still working on that thing that you're believing him for it will bring it to pass and this is a reassurance video telling you that god still got you and he's working on it so fear not i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day